For the past eight months, New York native Dan Perino has been flyering posters around Manhattan looking for a girlfriend. I sat down with this hopeless romantic to hear how his quest for love has been going. I've been having a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's been amazing. How many first dates have you had? Dates or hookups? Uh, dates. Probably a couple of hundred. A couple of hundred dates and a shitload of media coverage. But the question remains, has he found love? Not through the flyer. What are you looking for? Physically is really not that important. Looks don't matter. To but I do have a type. Oh, what's your type? Um, I like petite women that are heavy chested. Oh. Between the ages of 25 and 37. A blind woman called me. Did you date a blind woman? Yes. What about a blind woman who had small breasts? Yes. What about a blind woman with small breasts over 37? Mm, the reason why I have an age limit is because I want to have a family. What about a woman who froze her eggs at 31? She's 38. Oh, that's a good question. And she's blind and she has small breasts. Would you date her? Yes. Would you date a woman who was overweight? I have in the past. Okay. She was about 500 pounds, and I had to turn her sideways to get her into the, the door of my apartment. Whatever happened with that? Um, it was just a hookup. Would you ever date a woman who was 500 pounds? No. In a recent interview you gave to Vice, you said, I don't fucking want that, a fugly woman. I've taken a lot of flack from that one. No old ladies, 25 to 30, no 40 year olds. Keep them away from me, I want the damn models. What would you tell a woman who is a decade younger than you? Take a hike, get your shrill legs out of my face. You don't deserve love? I'm not attracted to, old, to, to women my age. You know, a girl called me this morning. She didn't leave her number, crying, this and that. I'm pregnant. Do you not use condoms when you have sex with women? No, I usually do, yeah. How often do you not use condoms? Women I have past... to go to a different place to get them. How many women in the past? So, how many, in the past three months, how many women have you had unprotected sex with? Maybe three. Will you take this AIDS test? Sure. I was saving this for rainy day. So, so that we're doing a rapid AIDS test. Do you want me to pull it out or? Take that, swipe it once, mm -hmm. and then swipe it once. Get all the AIDS in there. Push it in? Uh, that's good. I'm 20 minutes, and then you're gonna read. 20 so, minutes. So we can hang out for 20 minutes while we figure out a few of AIDS. You're the first person that's ever done all this kind of stuff. It's a very good. You should be a reporter. Okay. You're far better than some of these interviews that I've had. Thank You're you. You're very, very good. A hell of a personality. Thank which you. Which goes a long way with me. Oh. And if it was under different circumstances, it would definitely ask you that <laughs> on a date. And like, what do you mean different circumstances? Like me not giving you an AIDS test? No, it's just that I do this with everybody. It's professional. Uh-huh. You're married? <laughs> yes. You Can you tell I'm married to a ghost? So you're dating, too? No, I'm not dating. I'm not dating. How old is she? She appears to be 50. Will you point to her chin? Oh, right here. Point. What if that's the nose, and that's the chin? Now I'm seeing something totally different. What are you seeing? I'm seeing a man now. What if that's just a woman over 50? Why do you have to call her a man? Wow, this is very tricky. It's very good whoever did it. How old is this woman? Much older, much, much older, 80. 
So either way, neither are women you'd want to fuck. Probably not. I have the results of your rapid AIDS test. Great. Let's have them. You don't have HIV. How do you feel? I know I don't have AIDS. I think we have everything. I mean, you can ask me any question now. If there's anything that you want to ask, go for it. You want to go for a pedicure? I, not just saying this, I got one yesterday. So I'm good for a couple months. Maybe a manicure? I don't really put anything on my nails because I think that uh, putting nail polish on your nails is kind of like toxic and like, you know, you eat with your hands and you don't want to ingest that. So I never get manicures. Okay. So there you have it, Dan Perino, still single and ready to mingle. People will never forget this. People forget 9-11. Nobody's gonna forget 9-11. Scale of 1 to 10. Cultural significance. 9-11. 10. Dan Perino. 5. World so Trade Center bombing, the first one. People don't remember that one. Okay, so compared to you, where is that terrorist attack? I would say attack? equal to that. <laughs> Why is that so funny?